I've been a neurologist since 1978. When I used to go back home and think, 30% of the patients I see, I give them fancy names, I tell them do fancy tests, and then I tell them, sorry, you were an incurable disease about which we don't know much about. So in order to allay this frustration and make myself more involved and wanting to go to work every day, I start, started specializing in epilepsy. Now, epilepsy is more common in younger people. I get along famously with young people. And also there's a lot of myth, there's a lot of uh, wrong stigma. So I thought this was a good area I could work. And my focus in my neurology practice also was always the psychosocial aspect. I subspecialized in epilepsy somewhere around the 80s. So when I started doing epilepsy, the doorway to epilepsy surgery opened up. And when I talked to my colleagues and told them, look here, I'd like uh, some of you to specialize in epilepsy surgery because I've got patients with chronic epilepsy who can be benefited from it. They said, oh, no, 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 you'll give us four or five cases in a year. But actually what gives us bread and butter is our head injuries and the brain tumors. So epilepsy surgery may not be something for which I have to invest a lot of time and energy and money to get trained. Then there is this, uh, in the history of neurology, there is a person called Victor Horsley. He was a neurologist and in the 18th, 19th century, he became a neurosurgeon. So I said, okay, why not we also consider this option? It's very strange how you, the universe presents you the options you need when you need them. There was an advertisement in the paper saying that DM Neurology can apply for neurosurgery MCH. This never happens. You cannot cross specialities like that. And it was created, this loophole was created to accommodate a colleague of mine. I mean, his mother-in-law's brother was a neurosurgeon and he was a neurologist and he had, they had no children. The neurosurgeon had no children. So he, had, he was the heir to that gentleman's neurosurgical practice. And he created this geo. So that geo was created and it came and went in one year, 86. And they never thought somebody else would apply. But I said, hey, this is the opportunity. I knew that I had to join a five-year course where I had to do one year of general surgery, repeat neurology and things like that. So I said, no. And anyway, I had joined Apollo Hospital. I was getting a bit bored because for 17, 18 years, I was knocking around GH with a lot of academic stimulation and I was missing that in the corporate hospital. So I said, this gives me a chance to go to the hospital at GH also. And so I joined MCH. And that is how it happened. So it wasn't actually too planned. It was uh, just something that happened at the right time in the right way.